Hi, this is Laurie for BeckyHiggins.com, and today I'm going to show you some tips for how to add a white border around your layout prior to uploading it for printing. I have my layout open here in Photoshop Elements, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer all the way down at the bottom of my layers palette. So I'm going to scroll down and choose my background layer and select it. Now I'm going to hold my command key on the Mac or the control key on a PC and I'm going to click on this create new layer icon here at the top. Now you'll see I have this brand new layer that came in underneath my background layer. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this layer with white. Now if you want your border to be any other color but white, this would be the time that you would add that color. So I'm going to make sure that this layer is selected here at the bottom. I'm going to go up to edit fill layer, and now I have the option of what I want to use. I can click down on this menu and I can choose whether I want my foreground color, my background color, a different color, or I can use black, 50% gray, or white. If you want to use a different color, you would choose this color option here. Then you could use your color picker to sample a color out of your layout if you choose to do that. I'm going to use white, so I'm going to choose Use and White and choose OK. Now we can't see our white border yet because we need to resize our layout now. To do that, I'm going to select my background layer, making sure that my new layer is not selected. I'm going to scroll up to the top and I'm going to hold down my Shift key and choose my very top layer. Now you will see that all of my layers are selected. If I zoom out a little bit, you will see I have this bounding box going all the way around my layout. I want to click down on a corner transform handle. Down at the bottom, I want to make sure I have constrained proportions checked. And for my width, I'm going to type in 95. And my height is 95 as well. And then I will check my green checkmark box to commit. Now you will see that I have this perfect white border going all the way around my layout. Now you can choose if you want a thicker border going all the way around by reducing the size of your layout even more. We recommend you at least have a half inch border going all the way around your layout. Sometimes if you do anything less than that, the borders tend to be uneven after they go through the trimming process. Once your border is added, you are ready to save your layout and upload it for printing. If you have any questions, you can email us at digital at